Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. We're on a campus of the University of Portland inside the library here. Now, Meals on Wheels delivers food to homebound seniors, but these days that term senior seems to be getting younger and younger. Please welcome Julie Piper Finley, Director of Marketing and Communications for Meals on Wheels. People, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. You know, I, the, the term senior, of course, it's not physically getting younger, but it <laughs> seems to be because you said you used to deliver to 70, 80-year-olds, but now right. things are, are changing. Well, Meals on Wheels people has two programs. We have the Meals on Wheels that's actually brought to people who are homebound and unable to get out, and those people still tend to be fairly old. We also operate a program where we have 35 neighborhood dining rooms in three centers, and seniors who are more mobile can come into those. That's where we're seeing younger seniors, or junior seniors as we like to call them. People between the ages of 60 and 69 who are just now retiring are beginning to realize they did not save enough for retirement. So they're looking at their income portfolio and trying to figure out ways to stretch their money and coming to a Meals on Wheels People Dining Center is one way to do it. And it's entirely free for them. For the most part, because we do receive some federal funding, we're prohibited by law from charging for the meals. But we do ask seniors to make a donation if possible, and the suggested donation is $3. But we're not going to turn anyone away. When these people come in, um, do you hear the stories, the horror stories about, you know, I've worked 30 years to get to where I am, and now because of the recession, my portfolio, it's gone. It's all gone. We do. We hear stories like that. Another common story is that these early retirees also have adult children living with them because they've had some sort of financial disaster. So you have these people who are really stretched in many ways. Either their income is lowered, they're having to take care of more people in their home, and it's become a real struggle for them. So tell me about your centers you have now. You have 30 some odd centers right we have 35 dining rooms in three counties so we go all the way up to the very top of Clark County and we cover all of Multnomah and Washington mm -hmm. County these centers are located all over the place in fact here at the University of uh, Portland we have one about 10 blocks away from here we have them in Gresham we have them in Forest Grove these are centers where seniors can come for a hot and nutritious meal and a lot of them have other activities as well. Our center in Beaverton has um, weaving, it has oil painting, um, the centers have all kinds of activities. And I'm looking at statistics here in 2012, 1.2 million meals were served. Right, we serve 5,000 meals a day. And where do you get your food from? Is it the same place a restaurant would? For the most part, it is. We have a large central kitchen in Multnomah Village. It's a 14,000 square foot kitchen, which is pretty darn big. And we have the same kind of delivery that restaurants have. So we have the Alpenrose milk truck. We have Pacific Seafood. Um, we have most of our fruit and vegetables organic. It comes from organically grown other local producers. They bring their giant trucks to our loading dock and then load just like at a restaurant. Hey, you say pe people are coming younger and younger. You don't ID people when they walk through the door, do you? Actually, you we do. do. We have sort of the reverse carding system. <laughs> when you're young and you go to a bar, they want to make sure you're 21. At a Meals on Wheels People Center, we want to make sure you're 60. So if you're going to get a fake ID, go up this That's time. That's exactly Never right. Down. What, <laughs> one of the ways. Um, and you, and you couldn't do all this without volunteers, and you have close to 10,000 volunteers. Right. We use 500 volunteers a day because we deliver about 3,000 of our daily meals as Meals on Wheels, and so we need the whole crew of people to go out and deliver those. And then we use volunteers in our centers to help serve because most of that service is like restaurant service. We also have a choice of entree. So when a senior comes in, they'll choose what they want for lunch, really? and it's brought to them like with the waiter. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Julie Piper Finley, thank you very much uh, for you. sharing Meals on Wheels with us. And we want to thank you for being here as well. From the University of Portland, here at the brand new library, I'm Ken Ackerman for the crew here at Comcast. Make it a great day, everyone.